Like that shit is coming. I I wrote a um a blog on this about two years ago, saying deep fakes are about to fuck everything. Um, and I the example I was using in the in the article was um, uh, Joe Biden. I said, you know, at the moment it's just fake news. Like, you know, it's it's in its current form, it's just an article. It's just a word or a headline, and it's something that you don't agree with, and you you know it's false and everything. But your friend and your family, they all believe it, and that's shit. But that's where we're at. But coming down the line is this horrible new world that we're going to be propelled into uh, with deep fakes, where um, people will think that this video of Joe Biden. <laughs> the example in the blog was Joe Biden will be uh, caught on footage masturbating while someone burns an American flag. uh, And then, you know, something I can't remember the rest of the example now, but um, but the the example in the blog was basically like people will question their even their their understanding of what the truth is. Right. Just focus on that for a second. Like people will people who want to believe that Joe Biden is evil will believe that tape because out of confirmation bias, they already thought he was evil and shit and bad for America. Well, now they've got a video there showing that he's burning this flag and that will they won't want to believe that it's false, that it had been uh, that it had been uh, created, constructed by software engineers in a foreign country. Um, so there's that. Then there'll be this whole other chunk of people who won't want to believe that they could have possibly been fooled. That's another whole chunk of people who are so drunk on ego and can't possibly back down because they would have shared the video five times themselves. And so for them to then admit that they could have been had, like it takes quite a bit of character, I think, to hold your hands up and go, all right, fuck. Yeah, I might have got that wrong. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. They had me. I believed it. And, you know, to admit that you were wrong in front of all of your Facebook friends and Twitter following and Instagram people when you might have, you know, by that point, you've thought up your clever hot take on it and and you've used it as a way of supporting your already cemented hatred of Joe Biden. It would take a strong character or, or a strong chunk of the population to then go, oh, fuck, it wasn't real. Oh, yeah, OK, I might have been wrong about that. That is a whole chunk of people who, out of confirmation bias, will believe it. And then another chunk of people who, out of ego, could not possibly ever admit that they'd been ho- had or tricked. Um, and then you'll have people like me uh, who broadly support Biden or a Democratic administration over a Republican or conservative one uh, who will look at that video and then go, yeah, I think that's fake, but how do I know that it's fake? You know, you would question your understanding of what the truth is. Because if somebody can be presented to you saying a certain thing, behaving a certain way, how would you know what the truth is when it's so indistinguishable, which is where it's heading? It's so scary. It's also like if if something comes up that, let's say, right, I'm a I say a fan, right? I'm a big Emily Thornberry fan, if if that is even a sane thing to have. To be a fan of a politician is a bit weird, I know. But I really like Emily Thornberry's vibe. I never make any secret of this. She's my favourite MP in terms of, like, Labour, her humour, her way of responding to things, how uh, effective she is in putting her case across about stuff. Now, I, I feel like I like Emily Thornberry as a personality in... Uh, in, in British politics, right? Now, in the advent of deep fakes with video and audio, if something comes out that is not flattering to Emily Thornberry, let's say some video comes out, some audio comes out where she uh, lambasts black people. She uh, taps into various tropes. She uses derogatory terms. I might be tempted as a person who has aligned himself with some of her core values I might be tempted to dismiss it and say, ah, it's probably just a deep fake because my understanding of what the truth is and could be has been completely warped by the advent of these new deep fake audio and video clips. Um, so this is the thing, man. Like when, when you see tweets like Carol Codwaller, uh, Carol Codwaller's, sorry, this morning saying online abuse doesn't stay online. Um, it's like, yeah, it, 
it doesn't and it erupts into incidents like we saw yesterday and and then you see other tweets that say we have to get a grip on this fake news thing it's like yes we do but you motherfuckers don't even understand where we're at right now you think that we're that this is the end game or like this is the closing chapters we just have to fix fake news online and then that'll be it it'll be no we're not (laughs) we're not even halfway in yet this is going to get so much worse i mean i hope that i'm wrong but i don't think i am I think as a guy who works in tech and who's obsessed by tech and politics, I think I'm broadly in safe territory in in predicting this. 